We are Bria, we are the Brooke Roberts Innovation Agency. And we are a smart and sustainable materials innovation agency. We're very passionate about the fusion between design and technology, the arts and technology. You know, the impact of uh, technology and robots in our lives, from how we're going to use them, where they're going to be used, things that we need to talk about uh, as soon as possible. Well, Plexol is a really dynamic space. Lots of different technology entrepreneurs working on different projects. So it was an ideal destination for uh, Bria's project. So the piece that we've created with our collaborators for the v &A, for London Design Festival and Digital Design Weekend is called Slave Master. The idea really is we're creating a dialogue between humans and robots and um, we wanted to consider um, the role of the slave master being reversed and flip the usual narrative of robots taking over the world and stealing, stealing all of our jobs. jobs. Yeah. We took it a bit further as well yeah. because we're actually trying to uh, get the audience to um, feel some empathy for the robots as opposed to the, the humans in this piece. Holution was approached by the Brooke Roberts Innovation Agency and they wanted us to create a visualization that allowed to open a window on the soul of the robots and to visualize emotions and feelings that this interaction between robots and humans could create. When people see the performance, I'd like them to be inspired by um, robotics. Just seeing the, the technical side and the creative side um, pull together in such a phenomenal way in such a short amount of time is, is really quite spectacular. One of the very interesting things about this performance is that no two performances are the same because everything is rendered in real time and they are textured with uh, photographs taken for the previous rehearsals. So uh, it's, it's almost like peering into the mind of the robots. Great care had to be taken, not just to achieve the functionality of what this system needed to achieve, but it was also to make sure that it was safe. The last thing we want to do to break down the barriers of robots and humans is create an unsafe environment for anyone, right? Behind these robots you can see uh, a lot of technology, a lot of programming, many hours of uh, calculating and doing all this work to talk to each other. Actually this piece comes as a whole together in the performance, but in reality there is a lot of work in each unique, in the movement of the robots, in the movement of dancers, in the projections, and I think uh, uh, making everything work in, in, as a unison is it's, it's part of the difficulty of putting this project together. Most of the time the most difficult part is just to find uh, the right people to work with. And I think at this one I, I work with a very good team and we have a very good result in a very short of time. I think the relationship between humans and robots is ever evolving. I think we have still a lot to explore to actually define um, this specific relationship. We will become a lot more comfortable with working with machines and with um, artificial intelligence um, over time and, and really see the world of possibilities that it creates. It is part of our, of, of our world and our time, so we have to embrace it and make it a part of our lives. It's actually amazing to sit um, from the vantage point of starting the installation off and seeing everyone's faces looking at it and sort of a mixture of wonder, surprise, Everyone's yeah. responded to it so well, which is over the moon.